Knuckles Chaotix, a Sonic the Hedgehog spin-off game that pretty much slipped by without much notice due to the fact that it released on the over before it had really begun Mega Drive 32X. However, it's actually not that bad of a game and fits quite snugly into the classic Sonic series. Now as far as Sonic games go, this is one of the more solid entries in terms of glitches, but it does have some, and one of them in particular has a very interesting history. But before we get to that, one of the defining design choices of Knuckles Chaotix is that you play as two characters linked together somehow magically by the gold rings they hold. This is an interesting, if not slightly awkward gameplay mechanic that's often a burden rather than a convenience. This first glitch can remedy this problem and free you from the other character. Well, for certain zones anyway. Ah, it's better than nothing, I guess. In Marina Madness, you can clearly see that Espio is linked together with Knuckles as intended. What we need to do is lose the other character altogether. And there are two ways to do this. The first method is to bump into an enemy with no rings at all and Knuckles will decide he he's not okay with this and split. The second method, if for whatever reason the first method is out, again with no rings, you can simply stand for 57 seconds and Metal Sonic will kindly come and shoot you with a beam of light. And Knuckles is definitely not into that. In Marina Madness are these buttons that move ships to another section of the stage and it's here where the glitch seems to take effect. Jumping onto a button will call back the other character, but when the ship stops moving, you may notice something is missing. Espio is no longer tethered to Knuckles and is now free to go through the rest of the stage without him. Now jumping into a bonus stage won't fix this, however if you press A to call back the other character you'll be linked to them once again. This glitch can be carried all the way through the stage and it makes the game feel like a normal Sonic game. You can even take down the boss of Marina Madness completely solo. Really it's just nice not having the other character holding you back when you just want to get through the stage, so this is a cool glitch. Another place I found you can do this is in Techno Tower. Where where you have this drill machine. If you enter it after losing the other character, the same glitch will occur when you finally exit the drill. Ah, sweet freedom. A strange thing happens in this stage when you press A to call the other character while this glitch is in effect. Because this stage is so vertical, you can get quite a distance away, and the game doesn't like this very much, so it freaks out for a second until it can find the other character. So that's the D-Link glitch. Now let's talk about an interesting glitch that's actually hidden away in the debug mode of the game. Firstly, let's activate debug mode by heading to options and then to color test. Here you can find sets of three numbers or letters along the sides of a color chart. You can change these values by holding either the A, B or C buttons and moving left or right. You only need to change the first two sets in the top left corner and they should be set to 06, 0B, 11 and 04, 00, 04 and then simply press the start button. You'll now see after the title screen we have the option of stage select. Go Going into this menu we can find something unexpected in the player and combi options. All the characters are here, including a character represented by 10 stars. Choosing this character with another and beginning a stage results in a glitched character that looks like Knuckles but uses Mighty's color palette. The only thing is, as soon as this bizarre character hits the ground, the game will almost always crash. Now this glitch has a very interesting history which dates back to a cancelled Sonic game called Sonic Crackers. Sonic Crackers as we now know was an early prototype of Knuckles Chaotix and featured both Sonic and Tails. The key gameplay element of characters being joined together via rings can be seen in this clearly unfinished build of the game, but the mechanics of it are very much the same, and just as awkward. As a side note, a lot of the things just don't work right in this prototype, like what's going on with the arms here? Sonic the Hedgehog 4 anyone? Although, as stated before, this was clearly an unfinished game. At some time in 1994, this prototype shifted to what would eventually be Knuckles Chaotix, and here's where the glitched character in the final game becomes interesting. The order of the characters in the stage select menu actually clue us into the history of this game and Sonic Crackers. In slot 1 is Mighty, slot 2 is the glitched character, then Knuckles, Charmy B, Vector, Bomb, Heavy, and S. Well, when this game was originally Sonic Crackers, it's safe to assume that this first slot was filled by Sonic. As development continued on to become Knuckles Chaotix, Sonic was replaced by the similar looking Mighty the Armadillo, and all the other characters from the game occupy the subsequent slots. All except for one, the second slot. Slot 1 is Mighty and slots 3 to 8 are Knuckles and the other Chaotix characters. 
from this, we can determine that slot 2 is actually filled by Tails, based on the origins of the game. Evidently, this is backed up by the playable ROMs of the Knuckles Chaotix prototypes. In prototype 0111, debug mode is always on for testing, and we can select the glitched character as a playable character. This footage was taken from the ROM being played on the Gens emulator, which was the only one that didn't crash when playing as this guy. In this build, jumping and then pressing and holding the jump button again along with up on the D-pad shows that indeed, this character can fly just like Tails. After a short period of time, they'll even get tired out too, the same as Tails would. This confirms that Tails was cut from the game in early development, and in the prototypes that followed this, the ability to fly was taken out. Playing the final build of the game in the Gens emulator, I was able to have the glitched character along for the ride without it crashing, and this guy does some really odd things. Just look at the way he runs at this weird 45 degree angle. All the animations are strange too, and sometimes they'll be displayed as an arm holding a ring with no body. The game is still prone to crash, however, as whenever they balanced on the edge of a platform, everything seized up, and this was maybe due to the missing sprites. This character was eventually named Wechnia by the community, a combination of white and echidna, and is basically the leftover data of Tails being in the game, which is why this is a really interesting and pretty funny glitch. Without Tails' sprites being in the game to save memory, it basically uses what's there to fill that space, which is what a lot of games do. Wechnia can also be in encountered without debug mode when using the character swap item. Sometimes the color palettes can glitch out and Knuckles can end up with Mighty's color palette. I wasn't able to see this glitch myself, but apparently it's fairly common and very random. One thing I did manage to find is that anytime you use an item like the character swap or change item, if you initiate a boss cutscene just as the item runs out, it'll glitch out the cutscene sprite palette, which is nothing crazy, but it's a thing you can do, I guess. Anyway, that about wraps things up for this episode, and some very minor but interesting glitches you can try out in Knuckles Chaotix. A huge thank you to everyone on screen right now for supporting the show through Patreon pledges. I really do appreciate what you guys do. Remember, even a dollar goes a long way, so thanks very much, guys. And if you like this episode, hit that like button, share it with everyone you know and love, but most importantly, please subscribe if you want to see more from the series. Head over to the Facebook page for the show. I post updates and sneak peeks to upcoming episodes and keep you guys in the know about about all things Son of a Glitch. Or you can follow me on Twitter and keep updated that way, you know, if you want to.